your time at the arena to be enjoyable and incident free. If you are having an issue at any time that needs to be addressed, please text the word. Welcome everybody. Thanks for joining us for NBA action on 2K Sports. Joined by Coach Stan Van Gundy and Grant Hill. This is Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce is our reporter. And now in December, here's what the Eastern Conference standings look like. You take a look at Miami. They're still trying to get something started this year. Currently at the bottom of the conference. And of course the Raptors, half a game behind. So a look at our starters for the Heat. Hero is the two with Butler as the three. Dan Adebayo is out there with MP. And it's Richardson in at the point. And for the Raptors, they've got Dick. He's out there with Emmanuel Quickly. R.J. Barrett out there with Jakob Pertl. And it's Abaji in at the four spot. All right, Stan, different night, but the same two teams going at it again. Yeah, Brian, I like these situations in the regular season. It's as close as you can get to a playoff experience and your preparation is similar to what you'll have in the postseason. And so off the tip, it's the Raptors. Richardson against quickly. Pass to Abaji. Barrett up top. Here's Abaji. Back to Barrett. The three. And the basket by Abaji. And a nice find by Barrett. He has a complete game. Now here's MP. Here's Dick. And again, Toronto with a triple. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. And so Hero will bring it up for the Miami Heat. Six-point game. They put up a nice win against Toronto last time out. They really had a strong night shooting the basketball. They got hot and stayed hot. No, you're not going to lose many games shooting the percentage they did. That takes a disciplined effort. Toronto's gone two of two at the perimeter. Outside Barrett. Oh, it's stolen by Butler. Fast break. Here come the Heat. The 15-footer. And there's Richards on the assist by Butler. Well, really, he's a point forward. You can run your offense through Jimmy Butler. Quickly passes to Barrett. Pass to Dick. Here's Abaji. Jacks up a three. The rebound by MP. A little over a minute and a half into this first quarter. Out of bounds. It'll be Toronto's ball. And here are the Raptors now. Here's Abaji. And the Raptors miss again. Well, that's a shot the defense felt like they could live with. And it worked out for them that time. Butler, a screen on Pirtle. MP, the pass to Butler. Over Barrett. And all around the rim that time before dropping. Great delivery on the pick and roll. MP with a good sense of timing. Well, Grant, the Raptors are in the middle of a rebuild and are looking to establish an identity here. Yeah, they've got some solid young pieces, specifically Scotty Barnes. They just need more experience and some time in order to learn what it takes to win at this level. Well, he certainly had trouble finding the mark this quarter. And here's Miami trailing by two. Their last encounter in Miami. They were really in control of that game, played well as a team, and really made sure they didn't have to sweat it out at the end. Well, they were able to execute when they needed to, never let the game get away from them, and close things out. And the dunk by Pirtle. Well, you love the unselfishness, makes the next pass, and enables his team to capitalize on the possession. It's stolen away. Pass to Barrett. Fires the three. First shot won't go. Heat trail by four. MP outside. Oh, 
Rebound Toronto. They're coming off a loss against Miami. In this league, you have to stay active at both ends of the floor. I thought their lackluster defense was the difference in the game. Yeah, poor communication at the defensive end. Many of the rotations were late. That right there, that's the kind of look this system is designed to create. Here's Abaji. And again, Toronto with a triple. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Raptors. But our coaching staff has to be happy with how active they've been defensively, forcing turnovers and making the offense uncomfortable. <laughs> and also, the coaching staff has to love the hustle so far. Just playing with great energy, getting out and converting in transition. Now here's MP. Last game, an incredible scoring display for him. Count it. Great example there of the way MP's game around the rim continues to grow and develop. Quickly against Richardson. Here's Barrett. Banked it in off the glass. And they're behind right now because they're failing to play quality defense. It's that simple. Heat trail by 10. Butler passes to Hero. And here's MP. Oh, Clark with the slam. You love to see MP just attack that rim. Young players, take note. Pass to Abaji. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. And <laughs> their offense looking like a well-oiled machine. The Heat making a switch here. Rozier's checked in, and that one misses. Well, Grant, the Miami Heat are as professionally run as any franchise in this league. Yeah, and certain numbers point to that. They minimize turnovers, they don't commit cheap fouls, and they hit their free throws. So, in other words, they don't give anything away. Here's Abaji. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against Miami. And on the defensive end, he was extremely disruptive, forcing turnovers and making the offense uncomfortable. Heat trail by 10. And keeping us updated from the sidelines, Ali LaForce. I had a chance to catch up with Darko Ryakovic. Right away, he acknowledged they're facing one of the best defensive players in the league in Bam Adebayo. He told me Bam can do it all. He can protect the rim. He can defend in isolation. He can rebound. So we have to keep our composure, be aware of his presence, and not let him dictate what we do. All right, let's send it back to you guys. Okay, thank you, Allie. So it's Toronto now, following the bucket by the Heat. Dick, the pass to quickly. And here's Pirtle, hounded by Adebayo. Five on the clock. Hurdle with a screen on Butler. Quickly from outside. It's hauled in by the Heat. Clark's got four rebounds in the game. Pass to Rozier. Outside Richardson. Hurdle grabs a miss. Well, that's a miss you can live with. I expect they'll go to it again, especially if the defense continues to concede it. And the whistle on the shot. Got some contact there. Misses the shot, but he'll shoot two. And the foul goes against Miami. Robinson, he's checked in for Richardson. Heat trail by 11. Pass to MP. And the dunk by MP. Just a big man playing big. No way to stop it. And so quickly we'll bring it up for the Raptors. Here's Abaji, covered by MP. Outside Barrett. Over Butler. Barrett can't hit. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Barrett against Clark. Outside Robinson. Good, and the assist goes to MP. I mean, this is what Duncan Robinson does. He finds you points at the arc. Hurdle with a screen on Rozier. Here's quickly. Adebayo grabs the board. Heat trail by six. MP outside. It's stolen by Pirtle. 
Barrett with it. Now guarded by Rozier. Here's Abaji. Miami grabs the miss. Adebayo's got four rebounds now. MP looking around. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That's on Jakob Pertl. Well, what I love about MP is he's always working on his game. Every day, year round. That one's off. He hits the second from the line. And the Heat unveiling the statue of Dwayne Wade, Stan. The face of the franchise forever. Yeah, Brian, you think of what he meant to this organization. Propelling it to its very first championship and then attracting other stars to Miami. He is truly the foundation. Now here's Butler. He picked up 12 points in their last win against Toronto. They've closed the gap over the last few possessions, but can they push through and grab the lead? Well, with all the momentum they built up, I don't see this run stopping anytime soon. Butler against Barrett. Here's quickly. Offensive struggles continue, missing again. They're playing with a lot of energy tonight. We can see that in their dominance on the glass. Clark outside. A moment here to see the numbers for MP. And he's been outstanding offensively as of late. These last five games, he's been a beast at the offensive end. A different level score than he had been earlier in the season. Let's see if he can keep it up. And the first one at the line is good. And some changes here for the Raptors. Boucher's checked in for Abachi. Roden comes in for Barrett. And it's Brown in for Dick. Haquez is checked in for Miami. Tyler Hero comes in for Robinson. Now here's Boucher. He's averaging almost five points a game. Hurdle with the ball. Now guarded by MP. The shot's good. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. And here are the Heat. They've outscored them 10 to 2 during this run. Back to Rozier. Stolen by Quickly. And he's going for the lob. And finished off by Boucher. And the lead increases on a crazy offensive sequence. Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a pinpoint pass. Here's Brown. Quickly, outside. Six to shoot. Shoots over Hero. And the 17-footer goes down. And the Raptors lead by seven. Well, it wasn't a pretty start for him, but now he's got a bucket to build on. Butler passes to MP. Doesn't go for him. Hurdle with some nice D. Pass to Quickly. One forty-three left in the first quarter. Brown a screen on Rozier. Quickly from outside. Hits a three-pointer. And now a 10-point Toronto lead. They're not wasting any time putting their stamp on this game. What a start. Yeah, but you can't let up at all. They've got a chance to put this game away early, and they should take it. And here are the top playmakers over the last 10 games, as shown on the 2K leaderboard. Fourth, MP. He's making a lot of friends with the way he's been moving the ball, setting up his teammates nicely in their favorite spots. Walter, he's checked in for Pirtle. Robinson, he's checked in for Miami. Well, despite his lack of efficiency, the team has put together a good offensive effort today. Shot to stop the run. And the basket by MP. MP's got 13 now. Just a heroic scoring effort from him this quarter. He's doing everything he can to will them back into this game. Quickly finds Brown. 
There's 47 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. And out of bounds, the Heat will take it. Love is checked in for Miami. Number four. has called a timeout. Coach wants to speak to his guys, maybe alter some of the game plan. Raptors lead by three. Setting the floor for the Heat. Hero is the two with Butler as the three. MP is out there with Bam Adebayo. And it's Richardson in at the one. Now here's Dick. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against the Heat in Miami. Yeah, but it wasn't just the scoring. He had a bunch of assists, too, affecting the offense in so many ways. And the Raptors miss again. And so MP will bring it up for the Miami Heat. And it's blocked. And there's contact and a whistle. So he's got two shots coming up. And the foul called on the Toronto Raptors. And this is his fourth trip to the free throw line tonight. It's hard to forget how much he struggled from the line during their last matchup. All right, we've now got our 2K insider, Shams Charania, on the line. He's got a special report. Shams, it's all yours. Well, guys, teams are all grappling with this new CBA, especially the dreaded second apron. Fans possibly unclear on what it means. Honestly, even front offices are still navigating the complexities of the new restrictions. But basically, it has become harder for teams to spend big and acquire new players under the current systems. We'll see, guys, how this impacts everyone moving forward. Something to keep an eye on, no doubt. All right, Chomps, thanks a lot. Now here's Barrett. You know, his impact on offense has been terrific, scoring just around 20 points a game. Quickly against Richardson. And that one's good. Now four for ten. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Richardson, the pass to Adebayo. MP outside. Gotta get done inside, MP. Well, tonight has been the MP show. And guys, they have to keep it simple. Just keep feeding MP the ball and keep seeing him add to that point total. Here's Dick. Three-pointer, no good. Miami has gone three of six from outside in the second quarter. Clark in the post, guarded by Dick. That one's good. This game is all even. Clark's got five points now in the quarter. Well, anytime you can get a good look close in like that, it's always your best option. Oh, he got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. It's all tied in Toronto. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow on 2K Sports. Howdy folks, I know you've all been clamoring to find out how the Rookie of the Year race is looking, and we are not letting you down. Circling back to our featured game, the Miami Heat find themselves in a pretty even matchup. This has been a display of what we often talk about on this show, unselfish ball movement, usually leads to better shots. Now I could say this, they're generating a lot of clean looks, guys. Yeah, it's tough to beat a team that's in sync. Big advantage in the assist column, check that out. Thanks as always for watching. Let's head back to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the second half. through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. Hey, you look at MP in this game. He's been everywhere. I like how they control the tempo and play to his strengths. Yeah, he's found his spots. 
been patient with his shot selection, and it's paid off for himself and the team. Brady Dick out there with Emmanuel quickly. Then there's Jakob Pertl. Then it's R.J. Barrett, and it's Abaji in at the four. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. And the foul called on MP. That's his first foul. At least the over-the-back call comes from playing hard. But you'd like to see him get better positions. Yeah, some coaches call that an error of commission. You're giving effort, trying to make something happen. You'll live with a few of those. Now here's Dick. To the left wing. Here's Abaji. Rebound Miami. At 6'9", Bam Adebayo is on the shorter side of centers. Yet, he is elite defensively, Grant. He's been top five in defensive player of the year voting a bunch of times. Bam has an incredible motor, a great IQ, and he's a switchable big. That's huge in today's game. Butler can't get it to go. Butler's gone. One of three shooting so far. On the wing, Brady Dick. He's guarded by Hero. Butler against Barrett. Pass to Pirtle. To the middle. Here's Quickly. And he makes it on the layup. Quickly's got 12 points. Probably a play they drew up in the locker room at half. Yeah, I like how they're establishing their interior presence right away. That's going to collapse the defense and create other opportunities. And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. The Raptors are still developing. Coach Darko Ryakovic said, we're focusing on offensive execution and player development. It's about what we need to do night in and night out, regardless of the opponent. As we grow, we'll teach more schemes for opponent preparation. BA step by step. Yeah, it's a process, Allie. Thank you. And it's Butler with the ball for Miami. Two-point game. Here's Clark. Albaji with a rebound. And with that miss, they're just one for four to start the third quarter. Second half of play here with just under two and a half minutes passed. Now here's Dick. Defense is right there. The three is up, and it's blocked by Clark. Wow. MP was ready for the shot and timed the block to perfection. Just two to shoot. Quickly from outside. Adebayo grabs the board. Adebayo's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. You wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the glass. MP shot is off. This is not how they wanted to start the second half. Just one of five so far. Nabaji. And down it goes. Jam that one home. Well, he can play the four because he gets off the ground so well. He trail by four. Butler surveying the floor. Butler, so crafty around the rim. That's just a solid play. One of Butler's favorites. And Darko Ryakovic has called a timeout. He wants a few moments to regroup with his players. All right, Stan, as you look around the league, who stands out as the best perimeter defender right now? There's so many good ones. OG Ananobi might be the most versatile. Drew Holiday, Derek White, KCP. Don't forget about guys like Aaron Gordon and Herb Jones, also outstanding. The shot by Pirtle, no good. For Miami, they've got just two of six in the second half. Adebayo, a screen on Pirtle. Clark, the pass to Adebayo. Oh, he powers right through the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul, too. And he'll go to the line. Brady Dick picks one up. A multiple-time All-Star. What aspect of Adebayo's game stand catches your eye nightly? Well, Brian, I'd say it's not one thing. He's a very complete player. He can rebound, defend, pass, score. This guy does it all. By all accounts, a great teammate as well. That's exactly right. He's really finding his rhythm here. I mean, smart move to keep feeding him the ball. Yeah, when you have a guy playing like he has been recently, he's got to be the first option on every possession. Here's MP. Toronto making their last shot. 
And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. And while we have a moment, a look at the league leaders in fast break points over the last 10 games. In third, the Raptors. Over the last few weeks, they've been high flying, getting up and down the court with conviction. Well, he's got to be disappointed that he wasn't able to take the lead, but at least he evened things up. MP left side. Pass to quickly. Now here's Dick. Six on the shot clock. It's Barrett on the wing. Over Butler. And it's MP with a rebound. MP's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. MP's doubled. Pirtle grabs a miss. Pirtle's got his seventh rebound here tonight. He is really scuffling this quarter offensively. Perhaps a little frustration setting in. Dick, the pass to Pirtle. He can't get that one to fall. Oh, great D that time from MP. Oh, look at MP doing his thing down there. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. And timeout called by Darko Ryakovic. A moment to rest and confer on the game plan. The league is already buzzing about this year's three-point contest. So let's have a look at the players likely to make an appearance. The three-point contest only becomes more competitive every year as long-range shooting continues to be a coveted talent in the league. But these guys are in a league all their own. Well, you look at Barrett. He's going to need to move up this list big time to be part of the three-point contest. But he's got a shot. Maybe. Especially if he can get hot from beyond the arc. And he certainly has the ability to do so. And as we continue to count the votes, we'll update you on any changes to the list. No matter who is in it, though, it's going to be fun. Maybe this is the year we see a perfect score. Who knows? I'll be sure to be locked in on all of All-Star Weekend, especially the three-point contest. Well, he had six points from beyond the arc in the first half, but yet to get it going here in the second. MP is doubled. It's rebounded by Dick. Toronto has gone just one of five from three-point range here in the third quarter. Inside, here's Pirtle. Kicks it out to Barron. Picked by Pirtle. Stop the drought. Barrett can't hit. The Heat have gotten only four of ten shots to fall so far in the third. Clark in the post. And it's Toronto with a rebound. Their next game playing at home as the Pacers come to town. Pass to quickly. Outside, Dick. To the inside. And the dunk by Pirtle. <laughs> and plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. And guys, you cannot allow that in a close game. You have to make it harder than that. Keeping pace here. That's an excellent move inside. Quickly against Richardson. Here's Abaji. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right iron. abaji has got seven now in this quarter. Yeah, not sure why he faded away there. Sure looked like he had plenty of space. To the paint. Here's MP. MP packs it home. Making sure of it with the two-hand slam, B.A. Yeah, I don't blame him. With the score this tight, you cannot take a chance here. Quickly passes to Dick. Hurdle with a screen on Hero. Here's Dick. Adebayo with the rejection. Well, Adebayo's a little undersized at the center spot, but he can give you some shot block. Richardson finds Clark. Now Butler, guarded by Quickly. It's rebounded by Dick. Toronto trailing. Here's Abaji. He's got 18. Eight 
makes out of 15 shots. He's got it going. Well, he's been very efficient in this quarter. Keep getting him the ball. The Heat have gotten 6 of 14 shots to drop in this third quarter. Clark in the post. Oh, MP takes the contact and converts. Oh, my. Powering through the contact. MP just went to work on them in the paint. Pass to Abaji. The three, Barrett. And it's Miami with a rebound. MP's got a rebound number 12 here already in the game. Down low. Here's Adebayo. Hurdle with some nice D. It's a defender doing just enough to cause a miss on the layup. Impressive one-hand slam right there, B.A. Man, as long as he's confident about it, I'm good with it. Maybe use two hands next time. He knows where he is. Clark in the post. Clark with the screen. Hero, the pass to MP. Kicks it to Hero. Here's the three. Good. And the assist goes to MP. Clark's got five assists in the game. Yeah, he's so skilled at attacking at a moment's notice. Hero goes straight into his shot. Now here's quickly. 14 points for him. That's to Dick. Back to quickly. Oh, stolen by Richardson. Pass break Miami. Pushing it up now. Clark, no good. Raptors trail by three. Quickly up top. Guarded by Richardson. Here's Dick. Drills it from deep. Dick's got 14 points. I'll tell you, Grady Dick can shoot for days. I mean, his confidence from beyond the arc is really incredible. Hero finds Hakez. Clark. Oh, oh, oh my goodness! What a dunk! Talk about finishing with power. MP showing the rim no mercy there. And that was our AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Bringing you the sauce. Setting the floor for the heat. Hero is the two with Butler as the three. MP is out there with Jaime Hakez. And it's Richardson in at the point guard. Just five to shoot. Dick with it. Guarded down by Jaquez. Oh, it's stolen by Butler. To take the lead. Butler soars in to cap off the break. Yeah, and Butler pretty scary when he gets out in transition. And so quickly, we'll bring it up for the Raptors. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth. Hurdle with a screen on Richardson. The three from Quickly. Sends it home from three-point land. Quickly's got nine points now in the second half. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. Well, you know it's become a three-point shooting league. Teams shooting a steady diet from outside. Richardson against Quickly. Pass to Pirtle. Outside Barrett. Shot clock at six. Let's it go from 11. And the Raptors getting another bucket right there. Oh, this one has turned into an absolute nail biter. Yeah, at this point, you almost expect it to come down to the last possession. Here's Clark. Rebound Toronto. Hurdle's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. And Richardson comes to help. Hurdle, the pass to Dick. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. Well, that one stings. In a game where every possession counts, he just gave one away. Bam Adebayo's checked in for Miami. Terry Rozier comes in for Richardson. To the middle. Here's Butler. Rebound Toronto. Toronto. 
quickly against Rogier. Baron is screen on hero. Here's Dick. Adebayo grabs the board. Adebayo's got 15 rebounds here tonight. Clark up top. And Adebayo slams it in. Well, that's textbook pick and roll basketball. Adebayo just taking what the defense gives him. Pass to Pirtle and stolen by Clark. Fast break Miami. Oh, MP throws it down. Oh, save that for the dunk contest. That flush was so extra. Whether or not this game is close, he's the same guy. Focused on finishing firm at the rim. Richardson's checked in for Miami. Out of bounds. It'll be heat ball. Heat leading by three. Now Hero. And he converts the layup. The D hasn't been... Quick enough to react to the ball inside. That's helped cause this run. For Toronto, they've gotten five of 12 shot attempts to go so far in the fourth quarter. Quickly deciding where to go with it. Hurdle with a screen on Richardson. Out of bio with the rejection. What a menacing swap by Bam. Letting them know there are no easy shots when he's around. The Heat have gotten seven of 16 attempts to drop since the start of the fourth. Here they come with numbers in transition. Quickly from outside. Drains the triple. Quickly's got 22 points. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. Pass to Adebayo. Outside Butler. Outside Richardson. On the wing, MP. Down to five on the shot clock. As MP throws it down hard. This guy is putting on a clinic for the people. Man, I'm shocked. I can't believe he pulled that off in a real game. Dick, the pass to quickly. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. And during the first few seasons of Emmanuel Quickly's career, he was seen primarily as a scorer, Grant. Yes, but recently has blossomed into a more versatile threat. The leap we've seen in his passing has been especially impressive. He's a player to watch out for moving forward. Clark outside. And out of bio slams it in. And he's now got the double-double. Wow! Adebayo showing some leadership there in a big moment. Raptors trail by three. Outside, Dick. Back to Quickly. Outside, Barrett. And that one, good! And you know Barrett wants the ball in his hands, especially on these big possessions. Butler passes to Adebayo on the wing, MP. And they double up MP. Richardson for three. Rebound, Toronto. Akbaji's got five rebounds tonight. Outside, Dick. Quickly, left side. And the foul called on Emmanuel quickly. That's his first foul of the game. And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. Now here's Hero, guarded by Dick. Clark in the post. And if he throws it down. A complete lack of intimidation. MP proving he can be that guy. Outside, Dick. Back to quickly. To the paint. Here's Pirtle. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. 
And he's unable to get the second one. And they need to play good defense here. That trip to the line helped and hurt. Butler finds MP. There's a minute 47 left in the fourth quarter. And out of bio with the basket on the assist by Clark. Clark's got nine assists now tonight. And Barrett has got the ball here for the Toronto Raptors. Quickly up top. Pass to Abaji. Kick by Pirtle. Abaji. Pass to Pirtle. Clock at six. Here's Quickly. Tips. Richardson for three. The putback. Pirtle grabs a miss. Raptors trail by four. Side Barrett. Pass to Abaji. Butler against Barrett. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. That's on Jimmy Butler. Yeah, just a great job by Barrett. Pounding it inside and getting to the line. Well, make no mistake, this is exactly who they want at the line in this situation. MP inside. Kicks it to Hero. To the wing on the left. And they double up MP. Takes the three. And connects from downtown. Well, they really needed a hoop. And Hero steps up. And Darko Ryakovic has called a timeout. He's decided it's time to clarify the situation, leaving little room for error. From a coaching perspective, what are the keys to focus on here? They don't want to waste time here. If they can score fast enough, they can go back on D and try to get a stop instead of having to foul. All right, let's get a report from Ali. Over that last break, guys, I got a chance to hear what Darko Ryakovic said to the team. He emphasized staying sharp the rest of the way, saying turnovers will kill us. We can close this gap if we take care of the ball. Don't try and overdo it. I'll send it back to you guys, Brian. Okay, thanks, Allie. And again, Toronto, no good. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. You just missed it. And they go to the intentional foul. And no good as the first free throw misses. We'll see if he can hit the second. And he ends up making the second. And that increases the lead to six. Absolutely no room for error. Everything has to almost fall perfectly for them to pull this out. And timeout called by Darko Ryakovic. Rallying his guys to make sure they all know the plan. And we've got 28 seconds left in the game. And now we've got an intentional foul. So the first one drops, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And a tough break as his second attempt is no good at the line. Honestly, they're just down by too much to mount a comeback. Well, you want your players to keep playing hard, but let's be honest. This game's over. And he just keeps finding shots. So much confidence on display. And they're going to prolong the game with an intentional foul. Getting a little desperate at this stage. I mean, the clock's the big factor. Second free throw, no good that time. He really wanted that one. Quickly against Adebayo. From downtown, the rebound by MP. So it's Miami picking up the win. And they barely squeezed out the win here on the road. And B.A., the visiting team is always under some added pressure. But they made it work and got the win, whatever the margin may have been. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Grant Hill, Ali LaForce, and Coach Stan Van Gundy, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.